So the beauty of Cine Punch is that there is a ton of stuff in here. So you have for one, a bunch of different tools such as transitions, color LUTs, sound effects, sound packs, and then you have what I call the big packs. And these are all different cinematic big pack elements such as real lens flares, dust elements, all different things to spice up your video. So I just wanted to point out some basics when using these elements with your footage. I'm just going to go to File, Import. I'm going to import my media. In this example, I'm going to import my CineDust 8K collection. So you can see I have these uh, organic dust particles here. I'm going to drag and drop it on top of my footage. I'm just going to scale it so that way it covers the entire frame. I'm going to now go into my color category and I'm just going to select curves. And I'm just going to play with the RGB values here. Okay, so you see a little bit sharper uh, detail with the dust particles, but it's also diluting some of the dust particles. Now if I were to go back to my effects tab here and change the blending mode to add and we're going to see those dust particles here. But you can see a difference when I turn the curves on and off. So again, because these are not color treated, I wanted to give you the option to be able to do the treatment yourself if need be. Now in the case of using something like a flare, you know, with the anamorphic creams, you have these beautiful lens flares. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to take one of these anamorphic flares If we go into our effects control here, and I'm just going to change the scale. But I just want to be able to cover the frame here so it covers my entire shot. And if I were to change the blending mode to add, there you go. So the majority of these elements, I just want to know, are really going to be changing blending modes to like add or overlay when you place them on top of your shot. So again, if I were to get a glam element here, which is like some of these sparkly glitter elements, I'm going to drag and drop it on top of my shot. And again, just change the scale a little bit. Go to blending mode, change it to add. And of course, you can stack all these elements, explore, experiment. If I go into my light drops, uh, you can see with the light drop elements that there's all different type of organic light textures. Uh, these are used usually for transitional overlays, but in this case, we have some longer light drops here. So I'm going to place one on top of both uh, my other elements and my footage, so you can see it stacked up here. And again, same process. I'm going to go to my effects control. I'm going to change the scale just so it fits to my frame and change the blending mode to add. So again, I want to give you this quick tip on using the big pack elements. Hope this helps. Enjoy. Enjoy.